Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I have another fake crate um, unboxing for you guys. I think this is my July box, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out in a minute. So let's go ahead and open this box up. Okay. So this one, uh, for this month, I decided to get a shirt, but I think this might be the last time I get a shirt because it is very pricey to be honest um so let's see the design of it but this color is not it so <laughs> um yeah i'm not a big fan of this to be honest but i mean it's not bad but i don't think i'll wear this to be honest um it does say uh wild birds die in cages which is interesting um, the design isn't bad, but it isn't my style, and I don't really see myself wearing this. Yeah, okay, so I don't really see myself wearing that shirt. Um, so yeah, I probably won't get um, the shirt option anymore. I might give it one more try, I'm not really sure. But let me go ahead and get the spoiler card out so we can see what month this is. Um, so yeah, this is the July box. Um, and let's see what the shirt is inspired by. The shirt is inspired by the bear and the nightingale, which I have no interest in reading at all. Um, and I don't really like the shirt design. So let's just move on to the next item. So the next thing we I see here is a puzzle. Um, and actually, I like getting puzzles in subscription boxes, especially when they have amazing character art. Um, and then here's the puzzle of the image that you make from the puzzle and i love this a lot i love this uh character art it's so beautiful and this is inspired by once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber which i do have right here from fairy loot um and yeah it's just a puzzle um, and actually like, like i said i like getting puzzles in subscription boxes i think they're fun especially when they have amazing character art like amazing artists doing them so yeah i actually do like that i just wish they told me how much pieces it is because like is it a hundred is it five hundred thousand i don't know but um yeah i like this quite a bit actually um and then we have our monthly stanny that stand they do um this is inspired by cemetery boys by aiden thomas which is one of my favorite books of all time but, um, I don't really like this, to be honest. Um, it's not bad, but I'm just not a huge fan of the artist, um, to be honest. I just think it's a little too cartoony, too childish. Um, but, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Especially because I do love this book quite a bit. Um, I wanted something better, but it's not bad. Um, <clears throat> then we have an enamel pen, which is inspired by Skin of the Sea by Natasha Brown. And, oh, this is really, really pretty. I think this is beautiful. It has glitter in it and the enamel pen, which I think is really, really nice. Um, yeah, I, I like that. I like getting enamel pens and book subscription boxes as well, even though I don't really have a use or a need for them, but... This one is really pretty, especially because it has glitter on the enamel pen, which I like a lot. So, so far, honestly, I kind of like this box because usually I don't really like the items that Frank Crate does. Um, but I could be sticking to it early because now we have a clipboard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't need a clipboard. But that's okay. Um, this is... Chaos breathes around me. Um, and honestly, this is very, very, very cheaply made. Very, it's very cheap. Um, and honestly, you can just peel this off. So like, yeah, this is very cheap. Um, I hate this and I don't even like the design to begin with. This is very cheaply made and Let's just move on. Um, actually, that is inspired by um, J Fire Gold 
um, which I have not read yet, but I do own it um, right here from my fairy loot edition. Anyways, let's move on to the book and art print. Um, yeah, so we have our monthly Polaroid um, thing that they like doing. And it says a little less human, a little more monster. And I like this. This is cute. It's fine. Not my favorite Polaroid, but it is inspired by the Midnight Girls. Um, so we have that. And then we have um, our ebook for this month, which is Heartmender by V. Roman Burton. Um, so with Fake Rate, they do. A physical book and an ebook that you can download um, for free um, and this seems to be interesting it's book one I like the cover but I probably won't read this because I like I don't like reading um, like an ebook so I only do like audiobooks and physical books so yeah and then we have um, a signed book plate for this month book which is nice um, so we have the author's letter behind this art print right here, which is also the book cover. Um, and I like this a lot. Okay. And then we have the actual book. Um, and honestly, the dust jacket is not that well placed. <laughs> but this month's book is Stealing Affinity by um, Alison Noel. I do like the actual cover, but it's not really put on here well um but the art is amazing though so at least it looks pretty but like it's just not on it properly but yeah and then again there's nothing special or about the book besides the exclusive cover so yeah um i plan on reading this one soon but yeah, um, that's everything inside this book's monthly box. Um, let me know your opinion on the items and the actual book and the exclusive cover. Um, I'm gonna try to fix this and see if I could put it on right. Cause it has like a border, but it's kind of crooked. Like it's not on it properly. <laughs> but this month I enjoyed like half the items and then the other half I really did not like like the clipboard is ugly the stand is okay but i like the note pen and i like the puzzle i hated the shirt so yeah but that's how we're gonna end the july box um i have um i have the august box coming in soon hopefully could be wrong i don't know Anyways, um, I didn't order the June box, um, so that sucks, but they did have a sale and I was able to get the June book, which is nice because, again, they do exclusive covers, so I'm happy about that, but I did skip June and then I plan on getting September and October, especially October because October they're doing um, Aiden Thomas' newest book and... Aiden Thomas is one of my favorite authors and I'm very excited for that book um, The Sun Bear Trials I'm pretty sure that's called but anyways that's it thanks for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys